David Fippen already trying a high lane. Really whipped it up into that turn one quarter, and he's going to turn this one around, but appears to keep it off the wall. That's going to drop us under caution here, our four, first caution of the night. Out on lap number two here. Automatic transmission. So they said it's had some issues with it, wanting to drop down to third gear when making its way through the corners off throttle. Hoping to get that fixed out before next race, but we'll see if he's able to hang here as is with Jen Hall. Green flag in the air for our Net Electric Hornets. And JR Shanks with a great start here, rolling the outside and is gonna go to the lead with Jen Hall right behind. And JR Shanks is gonna hold off Jen Hall, current points leader, to get his first Net Electric Hornet win of the 2024 season. But that's gonna be our field for our Thunder Trucks today. Pace truck gonna drop down. Fire through the turn, three and four corner, and we're underway for our Delta Trading Group Thunder Trucks. And caution that time on the start, looked like someone got an early jump. Much better looking race start there. And we're green and underway for our Thunder Trucks. Calvin Catlin gonna work the outside and is going quick to the lead here. Gets around Adam Farr. Jen Hall stuck low in the three wide with Adam Farr and Zane McKissick. And Adam Farr is going to drop back from the middle as Jen Hall and Zane McKissick stay side by side for second. We're still three wide though for that fourth position. Adam Farr, David Levitt, and Kirsten Jones all caught in there. Making their way through three and four again. We're going to stay three wide this time as Kirsten Jones looking to make it three wide for third. Really hitting that low apron line and getting to the inside of the 50 side. Trying to pick up this third spot, though. It's still David Levitt. Kirsten Jones slides into David Levitt in the one and two quarter. Almost turns her truck sideways, but they all keep it going. But Catlin able to hold on. Some good defensive driving, though. He's going to go high into turn one this time, which allows Dave McKissick to sli slip a nose underneath. Lap after lap, McKissick looks just a little bit quicker, but this battle for the lead slowing them down a little bit and is letting David Levitt stick his nose right back in the picture. And McKissick hanging in there down low this time. We got a four-way battle for the lead here for our Thunder Trucks, side by side, down the front straightaway. Catlin and McKissick, no one willing to give an inch. And it looks like McKissick got a nose out front this time and it's to the lead on the back straightaway. Immense pressure here from uh, Zane McKissick, really getting underneath him now, trying to move him up a little bit. But Catlin able to hold on some good defensive driving though. He's gonna go high into turn one this time, which allows Zane McKissick to sli slip a nose underneath. Calvin Catlin's gonna clear Kirsten Jones for third here, but David Levitt tried to wrap low one more time, turns his truck a little bit sideways and he won't be able to get there. Zane McKissick with his first win of 2024. And we're rolling off four now, ready to get underway here for our next main event of the evening. Jim Bates gonna be quick looking low to the lead here. And he rolls right past Tony Helm to take this lead. Garrett Gilliam having to battle through some cars on the outside. Helm drifting up the track, but still gonna have space for him to squeeze by on the outside as he goes to second here. This time around, Lane Campbell and Tony Helm stuck battling side by side for third. Lane's gonna wrap the low line, has his nose out front, though a little bit better momentum from Tony Helm on the outside is gonna bring them side by side back through three and four. And they're neck and neck right there. Possibly some more sparks there from Garrett Gilliam coming out of turn two. Four though, as they come side by side, back down the front straight away to take the white flag. Jim Bates still leading, but gap is close here as Garrett Gilliam moving up out of the turn two corner. They're side by side. Bates has the better momentum. One more time through three and four. Is Gilliam close enough to make this bottom line stick? Too close, but it looked like he might have. And by transponder data, it says Jim Bates still ahead by five thousandths of a second. All right, and making their way through, 
turns three and four this time and firing off that restart zone. Rod Hustan gets a good roll off the corner. As we go three wide here on the start, Brandon Bonnet working low, Pat Bush caught in between him and Nick O'Neill. And we're gonna get a uh, caution here. They deem the restart was jumped and so we'll bring it back and we'll try that initial race restart again. And we'll try this again. Fire off the turn four corner. Looks like a much better launch that time as Pat Bush gets to the line first. And we are underway for our modified main of the evening. Once again, 25 lapper tonight. Brandon Bonnet works immediately to the lead, getting around Patrick Bush as Nick O'Neill follows, trying to wrap that low line to pick up that second spot. And he's going to move past Pat Bush. But now his job is to track down Brandon Bonnet, which has proved tough over the last couple races. The Bonnets have been fast. Bryce Bonnet won the first of our two modified doubles a couple weeks ago, and Brandon Bonnet coming off his first win in our last race. And Patrick Bush is going to make his way around the 21X on the outside. Tight battle for first and third right now. But, oh, coming high off the wall, maybe a little bit of contact there across the front straightaway with Nick O'Neill. Brandon Bonnet able to hold on, though, and still leading. Looked like he might have chopped Nick O'Neill down at the nose a little bit. And we got a really good battle for third between the 21X and 30, but this battle for the lead is too tight to take its lead, uh, take eyes off of. Nick O'Neill taking another big swing and it's right up on that back bumper of Brandon Bonnet. Really going low this time, down in the dirt and is really going to lose a lot of his run there as he loses about a car length and a half to Brandon this time. His battle for third is still tight though. Rod stand able to get a little bit clear though. It'll be his advantage on this last lap as Brandon Bonnet takes the win for our Lolly Chevrolet Modifieds. Though the 21X of Rod stands still battling side by side with Pat Bush. Pat Bush has one more opportunity through the turn three and four corner. Can he find the run he needs? And no, it'll be Rod Eastand holding on to third there with Brandon Bonnet, your winner, second race in a row. Those are pro stocks tonight. They're going to get their way fired through three and four. And we are underway for our final main event here for Independence Day. And Jen Hall going to work out to a quick lead here, getting around Toby Olds. A little bit of spark going through the corners. Jeremy Smith moves the 07 up the track. And the 07 of Rod Cyril Jr. slow absolutely got used up in the turn three and four quarter there. A tough break for the 07 to start this race. And the 27 of Jeremy Smith is dropping off. Your current points leader is leaving the track. Wow, Jeremy. Dorman Hall battle side by side back down the front straightaway. Dorman's going to take the low line here as Jeremy Smith is off. And it's Richard Dorman working to the lead that time on that lap. Gets low on Jen Hall and battle ends tight here. And they're gonna go door to door this time out of the turn two quarter. Barry Levitt sticking it in there. Ron Cyril Jr. is gonna look to make it three wide here. Wrapping that low lane. Can he get two for one? And he got none for none. Is still back there in fourth. But as Barry Levitt picks up the second spot from Jen Hall. And Ron Cyril Jr. is gonna follow his way through and make his way into that third spot. Cyril goes back low through three and four this time. Trying to get up to Barry Levitt. Very close to caught right way night here for Independence Day. White flag in Pete Smith's hand. Going to get the one to go next time around. And it looks like it's going to be too big of a gap for Ron Cyril to close. And to take a mistake from Richard Dorman this time. But white flag in the air for Richard Dorman. One race after having to drop off early and having to get, take fourth, he's going to get back to victory lane in that right way pro stock on right way night. And we take this opportunity of celebration to reflect and be grateful for our privilege of living in a country designed to be governed by the will of its people.